And now for our feature presentation. What's good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is I. What was all that? <laughs> Whoa, Paul. I'm just excited to be back, you guys. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope your New Year is bringing you a lot of prosperity and you're having a lot of happiness in your life because we all need love and happiness, right? Right. Like I said, it's good to be back. Today we got something different. Uh, we're doing some horror shorts today, some reaction horror shorts. None of these videos were made by me. Um, all credit goes to the one and only Horror, Short, Horror Shorts Party and an unbelievable creator that I've never heard of called Alter. These two creators today will be featured on the channel, so all credit goes to them. It's just your boy Kudo doing this thing. Yes, it's your boy Kudo Legend, like Kudo Heaven. For those who are new, welcome. Welcome to the family. Hit that like button, hit that uh, subscribe button, and definitely hit that bell notification so you never miss a Kudo video. You're in the family right now. Thank you and welcome. Yeah, um, I, I, it's cold outside. I really had nothing to do. Not to, not to say like y'all are like last on my mind. Y'all are always first on my mind. <laughs> okay. But lately I've just been... Uh, Trying to focus on some family time right now so I can go full throttle into this new year. So I hope you got your snacks. Yeah, what you got today? Waters, Gatorades, juices, smoothies, what you got? Vegan sandwiches, salads, Pop-Tarts, cookies, ice cream, doesn't matter. Whatever you have, grab those snacks. We're about to dive into this. I hope you got your headphones on loud or your TV, iPhone, um, Android device, iPad, whatever you got going on. I hope you're bumping this on loud because it's about to go down. First on the list, we have the incredible horror shorts party. The animators here and the creators here are awesome. I've never seen these videos. This is the first time. I have seen a couple of their videos. Uh, watching Corey Kinchin, Corey X Kinchin, the GOAT, his channel. However, I haven't seen this video, but this video is by them, Horror Shorts Party. Feel free to subscribe and check out all their content. Okay, true Walmart stories. Stories. The story I'm about to tell is as true as the sky is blue. And even though it happened something like 15 years ago now, I remember every detail flawlessly. Okay. I was just a high school dropout doing what it took to make ends meet. No glamour about it. Walmarts used to stay open way after dark. Even That's in the true. desolate rural areas like I grew up in. He ain't lying. I was hired in as some kind of all-around helper, doing anything and everything my bosses told me to. I tell you, I was busting my back. Most of the hours I spent in Walmart, I don't remember. I was working so hard that it all became a blur. Not many memorable occasions, except for one. There's one night I remember like it was yesterday. I'd been assigned to the clothing department for the second half of my shift, wow. and the clock had just hit closing time. I'd spent all day sorting clothes, managing the fitting rooms, and running the register by myself. But it was finally time to start cleaning up and counting the bills in the register. I was right in the middle of counting up all the ones when the man in question stormed up to the counter with a hoodie and a pair of jeans crumbled up in his arms. He Suspect. was filthy and sweaty from the warm summer Ugh. night, and his elbows and knees were all scraped up. What the heck he had a cross on, tattoo dude? on his forearm with a bulging vein running across it, and he wore the most raggedy stained white Bro, tank her line shorts. is... He threw the clothes what on the is counter that? and demanded to buy them. Hey mister, I need to buy these clothes, alright? I got the money. I couldn't help but roll my eyes. 
things, he made me lose track of the number I was on. I'm sorry, sir, but I just started counting the money in the register. I can't make any more transactions here. You'll have to go up to the front. You should hurry before they start closing. I don't have time for that. I need to buy these here. Now. I'm in a rush. I got a little freaked chill, out sir. by how chill. suddenly his demeanor changed. I'd been working in that Walmart for long enough. I knew better than to aggravate a customer like him any further. So even though it was against policy, I rang him up with the about $300 in untraceable cash sitting right behind the counter. The man handed me a torn and crumpled $20 bill, leaving him about $3 short. I gave him an apprehensive look, but decided to just accept it and make up the difference later with some change out of my own pocket. Wow. I would normally never do that, but honestly, I felt a little bad for the guy. Try to keep the peace. I feel most it. Of the customers I saw on a daily basis, and that's saying something. Yeah, he looked a little as tattered. As soon as I gave him back the clothes, he ripped off the tags and put the jeans and hoodie on right over the clothes he was wearing. It was nighttime, but it was still over 80 degrees outside which made that action a little strange to me. But by then, it was too late. Without a word, he ran out of the store. I tried my best to get the encounter out of my mind, but it was no use. That's a trick. Barely ten minutes later, a whole army of cop cars came barreling into the parking lot. They locked down the entire Crossroads Plaza and came in questioning everybody in the store. They told everyone they were looking for a convicted killer who'd escaped from prison and was on the run. Whoa! And when they gave the man's description, I kicked myself. The fugitive is a white male, late 40s, wearing a white tank top and shorts. He has a cross tattoo on his arm. If you believe you have seen this man, please come forward. I had no choice but to give them a statement. I let them know he'd hassle me at the register and change his clothes. They had me come with them to check the store security cameras. Wow, this is I crazy. I was extremely embarrassed, especially when the police saw how many breaks I gave the guy. <sighs> but at least they were able to confirm that he was indeed the man they were looking for. To this day, I feel guilty about that night. I played in my head over and over again, looking for ways I could have played my cards more responsibly. I can't shake the thought that if I just stalled him for a few more minutes, or if I'd stood my ground about store policy and made him go up to the front, maybe he would have been caught. I'm always baffled that he didn't steal the lot of cash he left sitting right in front of his eyes. I know he must have been tempted, but he probably thought better of it. The worst part is, after all these years, that man is still on the loose. Wow, bro. But when I get too down on myself for all that... There's one thing I can remember that makes me feel a little better about myself. A few nights later, while that guy was still all over the news, the story broke out that the fugitive, some guy by the name of Richard, mm. had actually been stopped by the police on his very first day on the run. But he somehow convinced the cop that he was a jogger. Oh, a jogger snap. on the hottest day of the year. I may have been reckless, but that cop who stopped him and let him walk was just plain stupid. Bro, I think I remember that you live story. Around here, boy? Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. What is? We got an escapee. Where from? A prison. Prison? Here? That's crazy. You know the bad thing about it? What's that? You'll match it up to him. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Do jog again in the future. Carry some ID with you. All right. That's hey, our quick line there. Have a good day now. Wow. Our next video is brought to us by Alter. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Alter. If you have, let me know in the comments. Alter, thank you for this video. This one is uh, entitled Nightfall, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's right there, Nightfall. So no further ado, let's see what Nightfall has to do. I kind of like, um, I like the animated series too, but there's nothing like seeing live action. It always gets the blood blowing. Bruh. Blood blowing, blood going. I'm rusty, y'all. Nightfall. That's such bullshit. No, it's true. They believe this cannibalistic demon walks around these woods, jumps from trees and shit. They're made up of dead body parts. They're afraid of fire. Mm. Jerry, that's Frankenstein. Shut the fuck up. It could be both. Nah, right, don't call skinwalkers. Remember that one time we went camping, we thought we saw one? I mean, sure, we were kids. Jerry. Shut up. Why are you telling me to shut up? What do you have to be afraid of? They only eat virgins. Uh. 
like you, Jerry. You're so dumb. Those 40 virgins were sacrificed right here in these woods. Where the hell did they find 40 virgins in Freeport, Jerry? Faces of Death. I used to watch that, well, not voluntarily, but it was new back in the day on the internet. They used to show a whole bunch of mass killings, man. It was crazy. Don't go log into that, kids. Anybody. It's not, it's not, it's not for the week. Okay, well, we got a little Boone's Farm. I wish I had this for a second period. <laughs> a little yeah, wish. Mrs. Bennett wouldn't notice a couple of her students completely shit face. <laughs> she wouldn't care. She'd probably ask us to share. He's definitely a virgin. <coughs> virgin. <coughs> Everybody looking at him like, bro, pass that bottle, you, sir. How much did you drink? I'm fine. I could drink more. <laughs> Okay, a little sticky icky. You can't smoke in here. Relax, Ryan. We've smoked in here before. Yeah, relax. Yeah, well, you weren't there last time when my dad smelled it, all right? So not in here, not anymore. You can't expect me to watch this without getting high. <laughs> you can smoke outside. All right. Sorry. Gotta follow the rules. Especially when you're living at your parents' crib. What the That's a movie muncher guaranteed. Tonight, another deadly bear attack leaving a Freeport resident in the hospital. Plus, Halloween weekend is coming up. We'll have your weekend forecast plus some tips for trick-or-treating. Tune in tonight to the WMTW News at 10. Where are you going? You already outside. Oh, she's trying to get some light. That's why smokers should not uh, smoke alone outside in the dark. You start getting paranoid. Well, why are you looking for the danger, though? Go back, go back, go back. Just go back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Is that something behind you, bro? Oh, my gosh! Bro, go! Oh, snap! Oh! I am so sorry. I did not mean to scare you. Are you all right? Okay. You shouldn't up on people like that. Ooh. Ooh. Do you want my jacket? I don't need Bro, it. Bro, do you see that uh, sweater Won't she got? I get oh, he talking about to uh, block the flame. My bad, my bad. I'm... I'm Oh no, he ain't talking about the block the flame. He's trying to be nice. She ain't even got nothing in there. Can I? Sure. <laughs> Bro, what? Yo, there was something behind her in the woods. I'm not tripping. I saw that. Oh my goodness. Where are you? Who is that? Why haven't you talked to me since Saturday? 
It feels like you've been avoiding me all week. Do you hate me? I don't oh my you. goodness. I like you, but sometimes you could rub people the wrong way. Well, you know, guys usually like it when I do that. Why did you even invite me? Why do me girls gotta say that? Y'all be playing the most games talking about us. Harry has a crush on Stacy. Y'all be playing mad games. Really? You know, I don't really think she Just don't be mad at me. Y'all just... Y'all play mad games too. Probably hit we play off. games? Y'all play games. But y'all be playing them games... Sneakily. Or very, very, very undercoverly. I'm not playing games. Kinda like it. Kinda like it. That's why you got spooked, though. Do you have any plans over the break? I'm going to Carrie Sullivan's place. Her parents left for the weekend, and they have like a huge pool and beer and stuff. She's a party I girl. Hide and watch something. It'll probably be the last time I swim all winter, so. I got a new suit just for it. <laughs> okay. Could I join? Sure. Boy trying to get some summer love. monkey it's probably fake <laughs> well if it was fake why did they ban the movie let's watch something else you guys pick I'm gonna go freeze myself outside again she gotta go smoke again she said I'm not high enough Jerry you should go with her Hmm? Dude, she was giving you the look. You should go with her. I think she was just looking normally. Shut up. <laughs> Hate her, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go 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 try. He is dull. He just like a mood killer. I don't hang out with people like that, bro. Like Get your life together for you want to hang out with me. I like to have fun, you know what I mean? We turned up. Positivity over here. Oh snap. Stacy. Where you at? Where you at, boo? Stacy? Oh, what? She already got body? Oh. Oh my goodness. Bro, get out of there. Oh. Claire. Claire. Who's in there, damn it? Slow down. Sorry. Oh, he's a virgin too, huh? I have Fucking stop, I said. What? Whoa, chill. I'm just, I'm, I'm not comfortable. Do you want me to grab a fucking pillow? Uh, yeah. Jesus. Just slow down. You did the exact same shit at Carrie's party. Because you were all over me in front of everyone. Our friends are here. Oh my God, they're doing the exact same thing. Or do you think they've been up there smoking for the last 20 minutes? No, they got bodied. Yeah, I don't have to try this fucking hard. Yo, he must be a virgin too, yo. No disrespect to the virgins. You know, take care of your body. Do what you want to do to those who ain't virgins. I ain't tripping. But uh, this thing is looking for virgins. You acting real virginy, sir. Yo, she straight up got body. 
And we don't even know what the thing did to him. Stacy, your ride is leaving. I used to have one of them Honda Accords. No, no, no joke. That's an '89 right there. Stacy. You know, you heard that. Yeah, you better get in that car. Close the door! Oh my gosh, close the door. I see it. I see it. Close the door. Oh, it disappeared. Oh no! Oh no, we got her! Oh, bro! I told you to close the door! See? Bodied. Oh, she was a virgin. She was the virgin. Whoa. Bodied. Oh my gosh. Or are really all virgins? Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. She's toast, sir. Well, you was jamming to the Walkman non skip version. She was toast. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Bro. He's, he's curtains. Curtains. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hands down. That was awesome. Okay. Nightfall for show by Alter, ladies and gentlemen. That was really fantastic. Should we do one more? We should do one more, man. Last but not least, we're going back to Alter again. Because for some reason, that last one just hit home. It was hitting hard. Like, it was a slow draw in to an epic finish. It was the greatest thing I've seen in a minute. So, we're going to go back with Alter. I hope that doesn't bother you guys. I had something picked that wasn't from Alter. However, like I said, that one last that last one hit. So I randomly chose one, and now we got a sickness. A sickness is the title for this video, given to us specially by an altar. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. A sickness, ladies and gentlemen. A sickness. Let's go. That fire is booming. I can't stand those alarm clocks, bro. Bro, put some pants on, dude. I apologize, y'all. Old long nose. Weird body shaped. Boy got a weird built body. Body band, remember I used to be dusty. He ain't having no luck. And you gotta put on glasses. What is. Got a blood brush and floss, but he make that look nasty. Single piece of toast cut in four. You gotta watch out for guys like that. And why does it take you so long to eat one square of one piece of toast?
my head is all jumbled right now. Alter, you guys are the the truth. Hands down. Oh, he's conducting some type of weird stuff. This is fire. Mm. Got something in my eye. I don't know what it is. Guys, mad crazy. Wait, that's the same video we saw on the other one with the kids are watching on those teams. Wow, that's amazing. They have everything connected like that, or what? why he keeps looking back at that though like he knows something's in there or is he just fighting the urge what's going on sir Never trust a person who eats a piece of toast like that. Ever. Look at his head, bro. And bro, you can never trust this kind of person. These type of people, man. Look at this dude, yo. Is that a tooth? broke out. Oh, it's a boy. They on to you, big nose. Bro got a bell pepper nose. me.
so stunned right now. I don't know what's gonna happen next. broke out what was that the boy that he put in the freezer or was that just a bag cuz I thought Sick person. He did kill him. I'm sorry if I hurt you. What the freak? But you're the one who's sick. What? What the? Oh! Little boys aren't meant to live forever. Oh, he he can't die. He's a vampire though. Whoa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm speechless. Alter, you have came through and shown the hell out today. I like, it's just the cinematography and the way you guys construct these films. Man, you guys just make a, uh, films for Netflix or something. I don't know what you guys do. I've never heard you guys. I'm just bowing down. And giving my praises, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. First time on the channel that we had reactions, and it was fire. It was fire. I'll probably do something funny in the long run. However, I want to start off with something that can wake me up and get it going. And I think that we found our next two, or hopefully we can uh, continue with these two. Don't forget these short horror story films were brought to us by short horror th sh horror short. <laughs> Let's not forget that these horror stories were brought to us by Alter and the one and only Horror Shorts Party. Uh, I just want to give full thanks to you guys and full credit to you guys. Uh, if you guys want to go follow their channels, the description or the links to their channels will be in the description. I'm still lost of words. However, it is I, your boy, Kudo Legend. Like Chudo Legend. It was fun to be back. I'm glad you guys were here with me. Stay tuned for what's next because I got some treats coming your way.